Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. Today, I know many of you have been encountering problems with Qualcomm drivers. Don't worry, you're in the right place. In this video, I'll guide you through a simple step-by-step -step process to fix these issues swiftly and get your Qualcomm drivers up and running smoothly. But before we dive into today's solution, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and smash the like button below. It really helps us create more helpful content for you. All right, let's get started. Open Device Manager to check if the Qualcomm driver is detected on your system. You can see that the driver is showing, but with a yellow icon, it means the driver is installed, but not working. To solve this problem, we have to disable signature verification on our Windows PC. To do that, open the Power menu and hold the Shift key and click on Restart. It will restart in some advanced option of Windows, and using that option, we will disable this signature verification of drivers. Now select Troubleshoot option, and then click on Advanced option. Here you will see some advanced options. Then select this Startup Settings option. Now you will see this type of screen, so click on Restart, and your PC will restart to Startup Settings. In Startup Settings, we need to disable driver signature enforcement to run Qualcomm driver. So press F7 key on your keyboard. After restarting your system, open the control panel and navigate to the device manager. Once there, connect a Qualcomm device using a USB connection to verify if the driver is now functioning properly. You should notice that the Qualcomm driver is now properly recognized without any issues. This indicates that the driver fix has been successful. If this video assisted you in resolving your Qualcomm driver issue, please consider giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with others facing similar challenges, and subscribing for more helpful content like this.